We have fire. It's burning down pretty good now. It's wasted all this time and effort. Let's give this another shot. Hello, welcome back to another episode from Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'm Bill. Today we're going to take a look at the sugar pine. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. What we have in front of us here is a sugar pine. The botanical name is Pinus Lambertiana. Sugar pines are the tallest and largest pines in the world out of all the pine species. They also possess the largest pine cones uh, in the world, up to two foot in length. The uh, name of the sugar pine is derived from its sweet tasting sap. John Moore, Muir, I'm sorry, the naturalist, uh, preferred uh, the sugar pine sap over maple syrup. Native Americans used the sap as a sweetener. They also chewed the sap as a type of chewing gum and uh, uh, it's also used as a, uh, they used it as a uh, laxative. If you uh, ingest enough of it, it has a laxative effect. There's a number of uh, uses for the sugar pine. You can eat the seeds from the pine cones. The cambium layer is edible uh, as food, as all the uh, uh, true pine species are. The uh, small roots, uh, the Native Americans used them to construct baskets. Uh, you can make uh, pitch from the glue, or I'm sorry, glue from the pitch. Uh, needles also make a very refreshing medicinal tea. Sugar pines are found uh, from Mexico all the way to Oregon and east uh, into Nevada, and the elevation ranges from uh, sea level to 10,000 foot. Absolutely beautiful trees. Let's uh, go over and take a look at the bark and the pine cones. Stay tuned. Well, here we are uh, next to the, uh, the trunk of the uh, sugar pine we were just looking at. And they are absolutely majestic pines. This one is nowhere near full grown. They get up to nearly 300 foot tall uh, fully grown specimens in the right conditions. I'll give you a close up of the bark here. Very important to be able to identify trees by the uh, by the various bark that they have, especially deciduous trees, ones that have uh, resources and uh, medicinal qualities that can be used. If they've dropped their leaves, it's uh, very important to be able to identify those by their bark, since the leaves aren't there to do so. And let's take a look at some cones. Stay tuned. Okay, we're here at the base of the tree, and these cones are by no means uh, an accurate representation of how big they get, but uh, this tree here is probably about a medium sized specimen. But sugar pines do have the largest cones in the world, up to two foot in length. And these are probably, yeah, they're probably about a foot long. You can see just how big these are here. And they're always, almost always covered with, with the sweet sap. Put 
my hand down here for size size reference very very big cones if you get these right after they drop off the trees and you can usually find some edible nuts in them looks like these are all spent though and these cones are heavy it's been raining up here so it's everything's kind of waterlogged right now but you can see all the cones laying around down here at the base hey welcome back one thing I wanted to point out another way you can identify these trees you'll see a lot of the branches kind of droop downward and that's due to the weight of those massive cones they kind of drag the drag the ends of the branches down they tend to grow that way it's one uh, one more way to uh, identify these you can see how they kind of kind of grow downward sugar pines are a five needle pine that's in, uh, five needles to a panicle panicle means a bunch pines are always usually identified by uh, by the uh, amount of uh, needles in a bundle I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it today please like subscribe and share and I hope all of you are having an outstanding day or night depending on where you're located I will see all of you very soon on the next one. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.